Hey, hey everybody, it's Jenny and I am going to share with you today my Kogo Daisy kits from the Poppy Fields kit. We are going to start with the kits that I received as being a design team member and also to make a couple of promotional videos and then we'll go into the stuff that I purchased on my own with my own money. So first, the kit is called Poppy Fields and these are B6 inserts. Now you're thinking, okay, B6 inserts. I'm going to go through these quickly so I can share them with you. And also, I have a mini happy planner here. If you're not really 100% sure what size B6 is, as you can see, it's very similar to a mini happy planner. So I'll open it up and show you. This is a mini happy planner looks like a monthly layout. And so I'm just trying to get this so you can see that. There you go. I will show you one of the inside pages as well. So basically the B6 is about the same height, ever so slightly taller, and probably about a half an inch wider. So over here, it's hanging over just a little bit but it's very, very similar size. And as you can see, I received the unpunched version. You can get punches along the sides to put into a ringed binder, like a Filofax, but I received these unpunched so I could potentially punch them and use them just like a B6 planner. The inserts come with this lovely divider you can see with the beautiful artwork and then on the back there's a small monthly view and a quote and obviously beautiful artwork there are some of these weekly sheets aren't they gorgeous and then on the back is just room for some notes and there are several of these and on the coco daisy website there are the specifications of what comes exactly in the kit so if you're not 100% sure, you can find it there. So we have notes, and then it goes right into the weeklies. Now these are all horizontal weeklies, so you can see that right here, and they're so pretty. What I like about this is that the daily parts of it are completely blank, but you do have the lovely artwork around the edges. So we go into all of our weeklies, and there's plenty of note pages in between as well. So if you need to make lists, or write down information from phone calls. You have plenty of room for that. Now, after that, we have some straight up list pages. You see that right here, so pretty. I love that gradient of color. I've never seen the Coco Daisy inserts before this month, but I just, they're gorgeous. Now look, there's also the monthly view right here cute, right? This paper is wonderful quality. I've used the A5 like traveler's notebook inserts and they are wonderful. And then there are these sheets of daily to do. So you can see right here the beautiful artwork and just plenty of room for writing and checklists. And then on the back, it's completely empty. So you could use this however you saw fit. You could add stickers or stamps or those types of things. And that's what all of these are. So one for each day of the month. Isn't that fantastic? I think they're beautiful and I really look forward to being able to punch those and create like a mini happy planner with those. All right, so now speaking of happy planner, these are classic vertical inserts. I apologize for the packaging noise. I prefer to not I prefer to have them open already, but I didn't do that this month because I wanted you to be able to see how they come in their entirety. So this is what you would call, I guess, kind of the divider, but most planners that are set up like this already have dividers. So this is just a beautiful art sheet, and then on the back it's blank. You could add your notes or those types of things. Another beautiful sheet for notes. And this also, when you turn it over, is part of the monthly view. It's exactly as you're used to seeing the same size. Then we head right into the weeklies. So can you see that right there? It's just three 
boxes in the vertical columns and each day of the week and they're undated so you can add your dates and they're also unpunched so you can add your own punching along the sides. So you receive five of these enough for every week of the month and then also the other thing about this is the Sidebar, sorry, that took me a second, is all the grid paper. I love that so much and I'm really excited to use that. I'm gonna start getting this set up soon so I am ready for April. Now these pages are what is truly so exciting. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, there are, let's see, five of these I believe included, yep. No, six, six of these included, okay? So six of these sheets. And I'm gonna show you what's really spectacular about these. So they come and they are already perforated. Can you see that perforation right there? So they come and they are perforated. So you have this for every day of the week. Now I would personally use this for meal planning. I'd write my dinners here. And then when I'm actually meal planning, okay, I write down my dinners, then I write the items that I need from the grocery store. And then I'm able to just detach this so simply and take this with me. And then, so if you say that I took this with me, this would be left in my planner. And this is the backside. So I could still write notes and all kinds of things on the backside. However, I don't have to tear this apart. It makes it perfectly wonderful just for folding as well. So say that you're not going to remove this. You're going to keep it together. You can fold it and have this be the front and this be the back. So you still have a checklist or you could fold it and this would be the front and this would be the back. So you have plenty of room for notes and lists. And this gutter has plenty of rooms to add your Happy Planner punch right there as well. These do come unpunched. I think I already said that, but there is plenty of room for you to add these and not disturb the integrity of the page. I just love them. I'm really excited about them and I can't wait to use them. Next I have the, this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. So if you've been considering it, memory keeping, this kit is amazing. Let me show you first. This is the simple dory that comes in the kit. It has this nice, beautiful, thick craft cover so it won't get banged up. And then inside, it has all of this lovely artwork. However, it alternates with these different plain pages. So these are a plain graph. So you can also use other pattern papers that come with the kit as well. So it's got lots of pages for keeping your memories for April and beyond. Now, say you don't get around to using it for April. That's okay. It doesn't say anything about April in this book. And this is the standard traveler's notebook size insert. Now we also have some patterned papers. I love this one so much. The backside has this geographic, not geographic, <laughs> geometric print. There's two of those. And then there's two of these leaves. And on the back side is this polka dot. And then the, this is the poppies, which I absolutely love. And that, isn't that beautiful? So there's six sheets of that patterned paper. Then you have these puffy alpha stickers, love it. And then there are some cards. So keep kind of like pocket scrapbooking cards, but made to go in the traveler's notebook, the simple dory, and there's four of those. So you have this one, take time to do what makes your soul happy, and then plus the April stories, the plaid, and then the poppy artwork down the side. This is chipboard and I love these clouds and it's just perfect for spring, isn't it? Now there are a couple of things on here that are very sort of April-ish. It has an Easter and a little Easter bunny, but otherwise you really could use this for any time of the year. So minus two little embellishments, you could use this even if you didn't use it for April. There is a stamp set and I am so excited about it because look at this, on the menu, all kinds of other ones and the clouds. I think those are gonna be so fun. Now these are the standard glitter dots that come in many of the Coco Daisy kits and they're beautiful and super popular. 
Now, there is something really exciting this month. These are brand new. They're these little cards. Can you see them? And they have different funny or amusing phrases on there. So think like memes on a cute little card with some, let me show you a couple of them because they're really just that awesome. Okay, so like here's one, for example, it just got, a, they're different sizes. So my birthstone is a coffee bean. Oh, here's the one that I wanted to show you, sorry. I run on dry shampoo, ca or caffeine dry shampoo and Amazon Prime. It's just so cool. And they all have different backgrounds. Some are lined, some are graph, those types of things. And there is a lot of them in here. I don't even know how many there are, but they are fantastic. Then we have the standard die cuts, which remember those, both of these are adhesive on the back. So you simply peel off there's a little white backing on the back. You peel it off and then it's a sticker. So we have lots of these little die cuts that are so cute. With Some of them have the beautiful art like this one with the clouds and some have words like Easter weekend and those types of things. So again, just perfect for keeping track of all of your memories. And last but not least, washi tape. I don't know if you can really tell, it's a little bit hard. This camera likes to focus on different parts, but this is light blue with some light green polka dots. So now I'm gonna put this back over here. And then let's see what's next. Okay, so this is the memory keeping classified kit. And these are usually kept a secret. Like you can look, there is a picture on the website, but you can also keep it a surprise. That's why it's called classified. All right, so this one, oh my gosh, I love it. These have these cute, small, tiny little paper clips. So they are, they're not like itty bitty, but they are like sort of a medium sized paper clip and those are gonna be really cute a whole bunch of different colored labels. I think I may have actually gotten two packages of these on mistake, but who am I to complain? Then, okay, let's do the papers first. So you have three of these really large papers. Now, a lot of people wonder what you can do with these. If you use a traveler's notebook or a ringed notebook, you can use these for lots of different things. I obviously use them for memory keeping. So you have this red geometric pattern and then look at the inside. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Then this beautiful cloud, but again, it's just watercolor, so you could use it for rain or um, waves or anything like that. A really great stripe. And then this has a really pretty detail on it. And the gorgeous poppies. I actually live in an area where the California poppies are very, very, very prevalent. And so this, the poppy items are going to get a lot of use. And then these three really giant tags. So this is my hand for scale. It's really big. More of that beautiful pattern. I'm, I just love these. We've been having these the last couple of months and I think they're a really fun addition. All right, so that was the classified memory keeping kit. Now, this is the modern memory keeping kit. This is more like a pocket scrapbooking kit. Oh my gosh, so many goodies in here. All right, so we will start with the puffy alphabets. This is kind of like a dark gray color, not quite charcoal, but pretty dark. Then it also comes with a few sheets of six by eight white cardstock, just so you can make six by eight pages. And then these beautiful patterned papers. So again, we saw these earlier, but look, remember how beautiful they are? So I'm gonna turn these over so you can see the back side. Gorgeous, and this matches that washi that we just saw too. Then, here is that cute, cute, cute chipboard. It's a little bit different than the other ones. So the clouds are the same, but these are different phrases and stuff. And like the bunny, I think on the other one was blue and this one is pink and that type of thing. So like the Easter, it's slightly different. It's 
the little phrase stickers. So cute. All right, so then we have the die cuts. And as you can see, they are gorgeous. Like we've got a leaf, there's a label. I can tell there's a fork and a spoon and then phrase ones as well. This stamp set, oh my gosh, I love it. Look how beautiful that script is for April and spring. So pretty. And then the glitter dots. Now these are acetate clouds. So if you're familiar like with transparencies or acetate, but they have printing on them as well. Can you see how pretty that is? I know it's really hard, but it's got a little pattern. Kind of reminds me of henna a little bit. This one reminds me a little bit of waves. And then this one also sort of reminds me of waves as well, but it's different than this one. These are gorgeous. All right, so then, that's not even all, you guys. Okay, let's do the washi. The washi is this really cool rainbow striped. I know it's just little blocks of color that create a stripe. I'm actually really, really excited about this one because I love rainbows. All right, so now this also comes with a little, you can see that one of those little binder clips so that you can create the mini album. All right, so the three by four cards are wrapped together with a belly band, so we'll get to those in a minute. Beautiful, I love this, and it's got a little bit of that distressing on it. So cute. Look at that little detail across the bottom with the dates and the months. And then again, some more of that watercolor looking, and then the back, April 2020. All right, so then we have the cards, April Stories. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely in love. Like I said, my area has a lot of the California poppies, so I'm really excited about this, and I find myself naturally drawn to the poppies as well. This is really clever. I love that it looks like a notebook page. Happiness blooms where seeds of love and joy are planted. So cute. What I love about this too is there's lots of references to rain, but the bottom line is that it doesn't rain very much for me because I live in Southern, so Southern California. And so I still think that there are lots of ways for me to use this despite the fact that there are lots of things. So it's not like overly focused is really what I'm trying to get at. All right, so I'm gonna remove this belly band. I love patterned cards, I'm a big fan. I find that, that's just gorgeous. They are really versatile, especially for layering and stuff, because then you don't feel bad that you're covering up some of the text or it's not hard to cover up the text. Like it, you don't have to find a way to cover right here on this part of the card. Oh, I love it. Just so much of this beautiful artwork and then so many other really, really usable patterns as well. I think you're gonna love this because I'm really excited about it and looking forward to creating. And in fact, maybe I will do some sort of a monthly project this month, even though I haven't been doing those with the pocket scrapbooking cards, but maybe I will. Okay, so now this is, last month there was a promotion for new subscribers and receiving this stamp set. I got a prototype so it doesn't have the printing on the top, which is A-OK -okay with me, I don't need the printing on the top, but it has dates and the days of the week and all that stuff, so that's what this is. And then I also received the memory keeping sticker kit and the classic sticker kit. So let's take a look at the memory keeping sticker kit. 
so this is designed to fit in an eight and a half by 11 vertical planner. So something similar to a big happy planner. That's just beautiful. All the beautiful art and then the phrases. Now we'll turn this over. So the big boxes will fit very closely in those boxes. I love these colors. They're just stunning. And I don't think that it's overly springish. Now I understand like the umbrellas in the rain, but it doesn't have to be spring. I think it's just beautiful. And then alphabet stickers, because I love to use alphabet stickers in my memory keeping. So I find that those are always very exciting sheets. Now the classic planner stickers go perfectly in the classic vertical inserts. So if you're that type of planner, you will love these two together. So there's lots of usable, both functional and decorative stickers here. Trackers and checklists, all kinds of things. Look at that, I love it and more of those alphabet stickers, and then washi strips as well. And I've told you all time and time again how I feel about washi strips. I love them. And then that's that sheet that we already saw. So that is what I received as a design team member and a couple of extra things for promotional videos. Now I'm going to share with you what I purchased with my own money. Now with this said, I love this collection and this color palette is one of my favorite color palettes. So there's a lot. I'm also a little bit experimenting with how I'm planning in some different planners right now too. And so it really helps to be able to have a few different things. Okay, these cards come in every month's kit, a little piece of artwork, and then a few words from Christine. So this is also beautiful to include in your planning. Now, I believe that this is the, I think this is the planner add-on. Yep, this is the planner add-on. All right, so let's start. gorgeous. Just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. Some people feel the rain. Others just get wet. So cute. And then a few decorative stickers, a few functional stickers. Again, some more functional stickers. Through the dancing poppy stole a breeze, mostly softly lulling to my soul. John Keats. Okay, so there's those cards that come in the planner add-on. Now this is why I, add, I ordered this. I love these stamps. They're mix and match. So you could use these sort of up and down, um, what's the word? Like, you know, just print with the, where's the day? I don't know. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> or you could use the script parts with the block letters. It's just mix and match. And I think this is just wonderful. So that is really one of the big reasons I ordered this kit. The other is this Poppy's clip. I think it's beautiful. All right, so then there is a light green mild liner. There is also this beautiful roll of gold foil washi. So the stems on these flowers are gold foil. Again, you can't really see it because there's still the plastic coating on there. And then a package of beautiful die cuts. There's flowers. And then I know there's also some weekend banners in here as well. So pretty though, look at that. All the gorgeous artwork. So I'm really excited to 
use these probably in my memory planner a lot, right? Because they're just gorgeous. All right, so now this is the main planner kit. So this is, if you were to order a planner kit from Coco Daisy, this is what this is. I ordered this with the classic vertical inserts and I already showed those to you, but I ordered a second set for my own so that I could really work with those. So if you'll recall, these were the ones that have the art on the front and then the pages like a classic happy planner and then also the perforation down the center for those lists. Do so you remember those? But you can actually get these without inserts if you prefer. It came with this beautiful pouch. I'm gonna take it out so you can look at it. It has a beautiful texture. It's very lightweight. It has the beautiful art on the bag and then this heavy duty silver faux leather tassel. So cute. All right, and then there are the patterned papers. And let's see here. All right. So remember, this is that cloud, I think, with the stripe on the inside. This pattern, the gorgeous poppies. And then the beautiful lady artwork on the inside of this one. So those come in here as well. These stickers, I love them because you've got the decorative little element, but then you've got the really super functional icons. You've got the tabs. Also super functional for redating. this cute notepad, some for your label stickers or die cuts that you can put on there. And then there's also, these are two pen refills for the pen that comes with the kit as well. Now these are all the die cuts that come with the kit. I'm gonna take a couple out to share with you. So for example, you have a couple of umbrellas, you have the lovely lady, the cloud, the poppy flowers, lots of different ones. And I know that there is die cuts in other kits as well, but each kit, they're just a little bit different. All right, so this is the pen for this month and it is stunning. Remember the artwork with the woman and the poppy fields and all that? Oh yeah, it's on this pen. It's so pretty, isn't it? And then the crystals inside. And then it has the little daisy detail at the top as well. So cute. All right, and then we have the washi with the poppy field on it. Hopefully you can see that. So cute. The scalloped sticky notes that say daily note. The bow paper clip, the glitter dots, all of that, everything I just showed you comes in the planner kit. So the glitter dots, the clip, the sticky notes, the washi tape, the beautiful pen, the die cuts, the pen, the two pen refills, the stickers and the notepad, all of these stickers, these stickers, the three pieces or the sh three large sheets of paper and the pouch. You can also get the inserts included for, it's really only just a couple of dollars, two or three, four or five dollars to add the inserts as well. And you get so much in the kits. It's really such a great value. 
All right, so that was the main planner kit. Now, this is the classified planner kit. All right, do you see the beautiful vellum? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty with this floral pattern on it. These adorable little bow paper clips, they're tiny. The cute little Simon card. Okay, then these are sticker sheets. I love this one so much and I love the little dots on here as well. And then the days of the week, so cute. The umbrellas and the clouds. And then these doilies, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Let me show them to you. Okay, so they are thin like doilies are, but they are, do you see that? Oh my gosh, so pretty. So there's two of each pattern in here and they're gorgeous. All right, and then there is this beautiful, it's got that, we saw it on the pattern on a piece of patterned paper earlier. It's the light blue background then with like the white sort of waves. Then there is a flare badge that says, it's a new day. And there are actually in the shop little paper clips that you can purchase that these attach to as well. And then a few more of those little paper clips we saw at the beginning, remember that? And one of those other kits that I had, so cute. Okay, so now we have sticker kits that I purchased. This is the planner sticker kit, the original planner sticker kit. It has the little dots for checklists, bullet points, those types of things. So pretty. All of that lovely washi. Okay, so that's the classic sticker kit. And then last but not least, I also have the Daisy add-on sticker kit. I just love some decorative stickers and these are the cutest, so I had to get them. Poppies are all so pretty. And these are very, very functional. I'm able to use them for writing and also for layering. So as you can see, I was a big, big fan of the Coco Daisy kits this month. I just think they're so beautiful and these colors are absolutely perfect for spring, but they're also gonna take us into summer so wonderfully. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions about the kits, let me know, and I will link them all up in the description below. Thanks so much, and make it a great day.